We do now have a face for the man who attacked and tried to sexually assault a woman after her car broke down. Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live in Lake Lotawana where the attack happened. Brenda Lee, how much closer are police to finding this man? That's what everybody wants to know for sure. Krista, they've received more than 30 tips so far, and they say that's the most they've gotten since this happened two weeks ago. And I'm near the spot where this attack happened. As you can see, there aren't many lights around me. In fact, there aren't many cars driving past us, but somehow this woman got a detailed description, and police hope that description will help solve this case. The search for this man isn't just a priority for Lake Lottawana police. Uh, this is personal to us. Chief Brett Miller is working closely with the woman who says this man attacked and tried to rape her. He's got a few distinctive features, like the large scar on the left side of his face. Everybody pretty well knows everybody around oh, yeah. here. Sean Petit doesn't think he'll be hard to find. Because, you know, somebody like that, if he's new to the area, he's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Miller thinks this may not have been his first calculated attack, and it probably won't be his last. He followed his victim closely on Highway 7, then stopped as she pulled over when her car broke down. He pulled out a gun and pushed her into a nearby field, ripping her shirt before she was able to fight back. He took off before police arrived. She's confident enough that she can pick the person out of a photo lineup, but she wants, she's going to make sure that it is the right person. There's just going to be zero doubt in her mind when she picks somebody out of a lineup. Petit is also confident he'll be found. I hope they get him. I hope they just lock him up and keep him there. And then somebody else ain't going to get hurt. But he and his wife won't be driving alone until that happens. Police describe this suspect's car as a white construction van. Now, there's a lot of construction going on in Blue Springs just minutes away, so there are plenty of cars fitting this description. That's something the police chief says doesn't make solving this case much easier. Reporting live at Lake Lottawana, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News.